coming out of peak season, let's say you have a new employee that's a rock star that we've been talking about and you want to have him or her replace someone who's not as good. So how do you do that and then not expose yourself to any litigation from the driver that you're firing? Yeah, great question. Um, I think this is a really good time to impress upon everyone the importance of documenting performance issues. Um, it's something that can get away from all of us in the busy, hectic nature of this world. Um, but, you know, missed pickup windows, customer service complaints, disputes, service under your threshold that you set for your organization, if it's 99, if it's 99.6, you know, you can you can pull all of that after the fact and create a case after the fact and produce that upon the termination. Um, I think it's better if you can show that you've had documented conversations with the underperforming driver about these things. Um, but all of this data is available on my ground biz. So you can always pull the um, daily service worksheet and document what days were under service. You can pull your accident history if they've had any accidents. Anything like that is um, is something you can use. And then if it's more of a attitude issue that they're being let go for or something that isn't as quantifiable, that's really where we need to be able to show those documented conversations to say, hey, we had a coaching incident with driver, you know, John about his uh, tardiness or about the uh, insubordination to management. So those things I would like to see documented, but honestly, it, it, it's not necessary. It just is an extra protection as you're making those changes.